Hi YouTube, it's me Francis. I'm gonna try to be real brief today. Um, I actually have a word um, from Galatians 6, 8. It reads, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It reads, for he that soweth to his flesh, shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the Spirit, shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. Thank you, Father God, for this word, Lord. I just pray that your audience will receive it, O oh God. I pray that they will be transformed by it, God. I pray that they receive a revelation. I pray that the yokes may break, that the chains may break, O oh God. That they may know you more, Lord Jesus. That they may know themselves more, Lord God. And that they may exercise more self-control, more self-knowledge, more knowledge of you of your power of your love lord god in their lives lord god in jesus name i pray that this word may use you may use me in this word god and transform every single person's life lord god every single person's life in jesus name i pray amen so you guys i'm gonna be brief i said i was gonna be brief um today the Lord, I was in prayer. He always gives me like one, one on, one, like direct things. Like today, um, I was I was speaking about the soul. I was telling the Lord about the soul, and I was you know just having a conversation with the Lord. And I said, okay, I'm gonna say this on on YouTube, and because that's what I felt in my heart. You know, I was like, I'm gonna put it on YouTube. And then I said, but God, I don't have a scripture, Jesus. I don't have a scripture to back up what I'm saying to, to, to make sense of it for the people that actually, you know, want to study the Bible and are not just spiritualists and are, are not just, you know, you know, philosophers and the like. Amen. So the Lord gave me clearly Galatians 6, 8. And I said, no way. You're lying, God. I was like shocked. So he did. He gave me Galatians 6, 8, and we're going to read it in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. I read it already, but I'm reading it again just in case you missed it. When we read the Word of God, we always have to keep in mind that God came to save our souls. In Proverbs 4.23, he says, Guard your heart, for it, it directs the course of your life. Flow, from it, flow the streams of life. That means that everything we do is, is God, you know? But no, it's not. Everything we do is the flesh. That either tells the soul to do it or the spirit that tells the soul to do it. So when you do what you do, check your heart and see why you're doing it. So I was doing a little thing to the Lord and I was telling him, I don't have a problem with music anymore. I had a battle with music. Um, I, I liked vulgar music, sex perverted music, angry music, you know, excuse me, real aggressive music I liked. And the Lord helped me out of it because I wasn't um, able to, like, see what was so bad about it. Um, After a while, after maybe a year or so, I started to, to you know, go down on the or change, actually, the type of music that I listen to. I used to listen to, you know, derogatory, per, per, perverted, you know, all those kind of things. After, you know, the Lord started convicting me about music, at first I had deleted everything, but eventually I started getting dirty, and then I had opened the door to music where I was listening to the same old music that I used to listen to, except that I had took out some that were really, really bad, you know. But God, amen. So when we come to this conclusion that everybody has a struggle with something. Some people watch soap opera. Some people watch TV shows, Walking Dead, Walking Funny, Empire. All these 
shows and you guys excuse me if you guys think that these shows are the best thing on earth but they're not jesus is the best thing on this earth um you know let's keep let's stay with music and then i'll go into like media um but pretty much we cannot put it in one one bag everything it's just negative it's it's breakups adultery um promiscuous sex money for sex you know derogatory did i say that Ugh, i hate derogatory i i had a youth of of experience you know i'm not the you know i'm not perfect but i learned a lot i learned a lot um we're not even gonna go into the whole gender roles and all that i just want to speak today about your part in what is to discern so you can know what's of god what's not of god what you have to you know you're in the world you're not of the world yeah you can listen to worship music all day long 159.7 million percent you could listen to it all day long but what happens when you work in a place where they don't play christian music what happens when you go to a job where you have to work with people that are not saved you know what happens when you watch tv and you catch all these dirty commercials and you catch all these negative um scary commercials and movies and tv shows and just just craziness out here in this world you understand what i mean like these things really really are here they exist in this world that's why the lord says we're not of this world you know he says don't love the things of this world you know he doesn't say don't enjoy it don't don't enjoy the things of the world you know he doesn't say run from the world no he doesn't say that hide from the world no he says be a difference he, he says be a light you know now um i want to speak about the mind the heart and the intentions the will our will is something like freud said it was the ego the id and the super ego for those of you that are uh, what are you philosophers and 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 sociologic sociologists and anthropologists yeah so you know he spoke about it a lot of people have spoken about these three entities and they've actually uh hit it on the head you know the soul is the heart the mind and the will and the soul is actually connected to the spirit and another part of it is connected to the flesh now when you sow to the flesh you reap corruption that's what galatians 6 8 says right when you sow to the spirit you reap everlasting life right that's what the that's what the bible said galatians 6 8 now what happens? What how can we control that? Why does why does God even bother to tell us that if we seed, if we if we sow to this, we get that and if we get that, I mean if we sow that, we get that, you know. Why did he say that? He said that because we're sowing seeds as we speak, guys. When you watch TV for an hour, trust me cuz I don't watch TV because of this. You watch TV for an hour, the show could be bomb. You watch TV, 45 minutes. I mean, I'm lying. Um, it's Let's say it's an hour, okay, 20 minutes. 20 minutes is commercials. What do the commercials say? What do they do? What do you learn from them? Commercials teach you about buying things. You need this. You're sick. You're depressed. You have anxiety. You are sick. You're doing this. You're about to die. You shouldn't drink this because you're going to die. And you're going to be dizzy in the, in the, you know, when you're driving. Don't drive. Don't drink and drive. Oh, the news. What does the news say, guys? The news says that three people got shot up yesterday by their own mother. The other one says that they stole something from an old lady. Like, what is going on in the world? You know what I mean? Like, TV... I swear, if people do not use it for edification, TV is, is just killing us as a generation, as a, a, a people, as America. Oh, my God. We need to have better uh, stewardship of media, and we need to start complaining because I'm going to start complaining. And I hope that you guys 
receive that and that you guys start complaining too because we need to feed our eyes and our minds and our ears we need to feed ourselves life we need to feed ourselves light and the only way we could do that is by guarding our eye gates and our ear gates because when we see what we see it looks like it goes out but it actually goes in. We have to process it. We have to internalize things. When we hear something, it ministers. It ministers to you. When somebody tells you, oh, you're ugly. Oh, you ugly today. What happened? Oh, you look tired. What, why are you so tired? You know, what happened to your face? When people tell you things like that, that stays in your head. You know, if somebody tells you, you'll never make it. You're going to be like, what you know i don't like you what if they tell you i love you oh my god you're so awesome you're beautiful you're you're just you're just such a giving person you're so patient you actually start believing that you patient tell me that you don't start believing you're patient amen anyway guys <sighs> did you get it the little thing i was saying okay so i'm very glad that you did because when you open your ears to listen to music, which is which is my point. You have to be very careful to listen to things that edify you. If you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend, if you're in a relationship, don't listen to songs that are going to make you rap, think, dance, jam to. You know, if I... You know, I have two girls in, in the club and they know each other. Don't do that to yourself. Why would you do that to yourself? If you have a girlfriend and, you know, and you know that she's the one for you. And, you, and not even if you don't know, but if you have a girlfriend and why would you be listening to, I ain't got no type. You should not do that. For what? That's not, that's one, that's not godly, and two, that doesn't even edify you. I'm not living right. My mama, what is it? My mama could tell you I ain't living right. Now, you know that boy was like 14 years old or something because he ain't got no sense in his mind. No offense to y'all 14 year olds that actually have your head together. Anyway. Come on, guys. Those kind of things we should not be listening to because it doesn't edify you, Christian or not. It does not edify you. Another thing is, why listen to music that's going to make you angry? Why listen to music that's going to make you try to compete with the next chick, you know, or with the next dude? Why Why you got to have four cars and, and tell a dude that he doesn't have anything and that he you better than him and that he ain't that he's slacking or something like why why sh does that edify you or does that just make you feel good because that doesn't that does that doesn't sound like spirit that doesn't like sound like god that does not sound like love that sounds like flesh that sounds like you pumping yourself up and you reaping Seeds of corruption. Okay. Do you know what corruption means? Corruption means that it's messed up. So you're sowing things of messed up. You're growing a harvest of messed upness. <laughs> you have trees and trees and trees. Of things that are messed up if you're constantly listening to a song or to or watching TV you watching TV and you're watching a girl you know novelas like the novelas like and these trifling movies and stuff like these things only teach you that sex can get women anywhere that that's all we're good for that you know, we have to look a certain way. We have to act a certain way for a man to like us. We are losers if we try to if we we try to button up our shirts. If we don't wear mini skirts showing our thongs and our and our half our butt cheek, we corny because of that. If we not out drinking and clubbing and and you know popping our booties on a handstand, we are whack. 
that's what the, that's what TV says to me. That's what the radio says to me. So we have to be, you know, conscious, aware, alert of what we're watching, what we're seeing, what we're allowing to come inside of our soul. Because your soul, it gives direction. It receives direction, actually. I'm sorry. It receives direction from God or from the flesh. Now, the flesh is it, the flesh likes that. The flesh likes to drink, even though it's killing itself. It likes to drink excessively. It likes to lie, even though it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna, it has a health, uh, 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 bad, uh, a bad, guilty conscience. It's still gonna like to lie because it's thrill. It's a fun, you know. The flesh likes to to feel hated on. The flesh feeds on anger. The flesh feeds on lust and passion. The lust, um, the flesh likes hatred. The flesh likes smoking. You know, even though it's killing itself, it's the craziest thing. The flesh likes to cry. The flesh, the flesh likes doesn't like to to feel um, emotional. But the but the flesh makes the the soul emotional. If you guys could understand what I'm saying, like you can make yourself depressed, you can make yourself perverted by what your flesh gives your soul. And when you have your soul all whacked out of control, your whole life is gonna be out of control. If you're constantly listening and watching scary movies, you're gonna always be on some. You know, detectives. What do they do? They they. How do people be? You know, they like to watch things. They like to observe. They like to check. They like to do things. You know, a teacher likes to teach. Um, a singer likes to sing. You know, a writer likes to write. Those, that's what those people do. So when you listen to music, even though you're a listener, you have to be a specific type of listener. You have to be on the lookout for the good. You have to be on the lookout for the positive. You have to be on the lookout for, let me guard my heart. Let me guard my spirit. Let me watch out for a minute because I think that this might not be good for my soul. She could be talking about love, but I don't know. She's talking about having sex before marriage and, you know... From what I know of, she ain't married. And I don't really think that we should be singing about having sex and how I'm riding it and how you my motivation or how I'm your motivation. I don't really know if I should really be listening to this because then tomorrow I'm going to wake up and I'm going to want to have some sex. You know what I mean? And, you know, that, those are things just to think about, guys. Um, The last thing I'm going to read is... um. Oh, there's a scripture on, in Luke... I forget what chapter, but it says, um, it says, in your patience, possess your soul. Possess your soul. Possess your soul. This is in my possession. Possess your soul. You know what that means? To, to have a guard, to have a hold on, to, to, to be in control, to have a guard, to have a gate, to have protection to have a shield that's what possess means you know i possess the city i conquer it conquer your soul guys do it for you don't do it for anybody do it for you because your soul is you your soul is your mind your soul is your your heart your soul is your dreams your visions your 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 aspirations in life is your soul that's your soul when you dirty up your soul with 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 the corruptible things Corruption, things that are gonna mess up, you you're gonna reap a, a a harvest of heartbreak, of disappointment, of frustration, of of being lost. You know, you could be in church and be lost, guys. Don't get it twisted. It's it's real. It's real out here. When you tend to things of God, things of the spirit, things of of love, you reap love. You reap abundance you 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 reap grace amen you reap love can't express it love faith and hope you you experience joy and courage you know and with the last 20 seconds that i have i'm going to leave you with this and it's basically uh hebrews 4 12 it says for the word of god is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit 
and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. That is awesome, right guys? I think that's awesome. There you go. It tells us that, you know, we have a soul and we have a spirit. You got that, right? That's good. I'm glad that God gave me that. Praise God. Now, we're going to go to Romans 8, 16, Romans 8, 16, praise God. The spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. Did you guys get that? The spirit itself bears witness with our spirit. The spirit itself bears witness with our spirit. How many spirits are there? It's God's spirit and our spirit, right? Whose spirit? Our spirit. In our spirit, God is in our spirit. He grabs our spirit. He makes our spirit new. Amen. Now, we are born again. And now, we don't reap carnality. We don't do carnality anymore. We do what God wants us to do. Because we've been born again. Amen. There's also a scripture here in, in Romans 8. Which says that those who sow, I mean, not, the, not that one, but it says, let me see, I wish, um, we are debtors not to the flesh, to live after the flesh. For if you live after the flesh, you shall die. But if you shall, if you through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, you shall live. For as many are, as are led by the spirit of God, they are the sons of God. How do you guys like that? That was God, and that was for you. Praise the Lord. I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord God, for this day again, for this completion, for the ending of this message. I pray that everyone is blessed. I pray everyone received what I had to give, what God had to give through me. And stay tuned.